Hey guys, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to focus on what is Pandas merge and what is the difference between doing a concat. So when you do a concat, how the output is coming and when you do a merge, what is the output is coming and what is the inner join outer join is the merge is more like SQL join all these things all these questions that we have in our mind I am going to clarify in this video so why delay let's get started so I am on the Jupyter notebook the very first thing we will do will create sub two data frames and these data frames I am going to provide you in the description of the video okay so simply write prior to this import pandas as pd now this is one of our data frame which contains the employee details here is the employee id having 101 2 3 4 and 5 okay this is the set of employee ids and here is the set of names alice bob charlie david Dave. now when you print this when i print employees and run this what would happen i can see a simple table got created or a data frame got created where i have all the employee ids where i have all the employee names associated with the id clear so this particular data frame i am going to give it to you in case you would like to save time in typing this entire one so we have got one data frame ready the same thing i am also going to create a data set for the projects now if you see this if i'm going to say projects and run this what happened this data set again has different employee numbers and then the project names for example 101 has a project a b c d e like that now there is a clear difference if you could notice if you see 101 employee number and 101 is there in the projects now here there is a difference 102 employee number is there in the employee data set but here 103 is there okay 102 is not there same way here you can see 105 is here in the first data set so here there is 105 is there but 106 is extra which is not here in the first one so that is the difference now let's do a concat and see the very first thing what we will do we'll just do a concat now i'm going to say results is equals to pandas dot concat now concat i have told you when you are using concat and you, and if you refer pandas dot concat all these links i am going to provide here we are passing objects that means set of data frames we can pass okay so how, what is the meaning of that here you are creating a list and inside that i'm passing the data frames so my first data frame name is employees i'm going to hit on tab comma the next data frame is your projects projects data okay these are the two data frames now when you do concat and try to print the results and if you run it what happened the employee id has come but again if you see 101 2 3 4 5 and then 101 3 4 5 so it is repeating so what this concat is actually actually doing it is just stacking one data frame below the other you can do side by side even the column wise you can do or else row by you can do so here the simple one in this simple example the first data frame employee id and employee name has come and the project name column is from the second data frame so here the project name has come but here all are nan values now when i am doing this the below i have got the second data frame in the second data frame employee names are not there so it is saying nan and then under the project name column this what come so this is a concat so concat means what remember what is the meaning of con concat it is primarily used to concatenate or stack stack means if i am giving you uh, let's say um, multiple books so what you do you keep the books on top of each other right or you're simply piling up so piling up is called stack okay so when you are stacking those data frames on top of each other along the rows or side by side there are two ways to do it for example you can also pass one parameter called access 
axis is equals to 1. When you say this, it will side by side, it will keep okay. If you run this, do you see employee ID, employee name, employee ID, project's name. So side by side, it has kept. So concatenation means it is primarily used to concatenate or stack data frames on top of each other along rows or side by side. That is the definition of concatenation. Now, what is the difference of merge? Let me show you. So when you write merge, instead of concat, I'm saying merge. The first difference is you don't pass it like a stack. So here you are stacking all the data frames in one, right? List of data frames. If you look at the pandas documentation, I'm going to pass all these links. It is saying you first mention the left, right. So I'm what I'm going to do, I'm going to first remove this and put them only in comma. So that is the first difference in terms of syntax. Okay. And I'm going to remove everything. Now let's simply do a con merge and see what is happening. The moment I do merge, it won't work because there is a important parameter on. On. Okay. So I'm saying, so if I'm going to run this, you can see this is how it has come. Okay. It has done, done a join. But again, you have an option to turn on how they would like to join. For example, here I'm going to say, comma on equals to I want to join them as per the employee ID as per the employee ID so when you don't do anything it will join as per the index numbers okay as per the index numbers is joining but again I'm saying join as per the employee underscore ID okay now when you do this when you, when I run this what happened based on the employee ID that are common in both the data frames so if you see the first one 101 is common 102 is not common right so if you see in the output 102 is not there even 106 is there in the projects data frame whose name is you know 106 employee ID with project E but again 106 is not there in the first data frame so what is happening it is disregarding anything which are not present only the common data is being captured so this is generally known as inner join inner join means whatever is common between both the data frames are joined so 101 is common in both of them 3 4 5 are common so only for this data you can see how the when the join happened this is how the output comes so there is no nan and all of those things that was happening in concat here it just sees the common thing and pulls out the data however there is also something I'm going to show you now what is the understanding here merge means it is designed for merging data frames based on a common key or column key means column based on a column you can merge so that is the difference so concat will stack and merge combines based on the key based on the common key so you can see this is this is how the output is more like your SQL join functions that if you have done in SQL is more like that you're joining based on a key the key which is present in both the tables and out of that you are fetching out the common data now there is also a parameter in merge i'm going to show you the parameter name is how this is the parameter so how to use it let me show you for example if i'm saying how is equals to and i'm going to pass inner inner means what would happen this is the same output will come if i'm saying outer Things which are not even common, those will come with a NAND value. For example, outer if I write, if I run this, what happened? 102 is present in the first data frame, but project name is not assigned to the employee, so it is saying NA. Okay. Now 106 is present in the second data frame, but his name is not present in the first one. So here it is saying NAN in project. So this is how the output is coming. Now let's summarize. In summary, what we have learned use concat for simple stacking of data frames either row wise or column wise while merge is more suitable when you need a combined data frame based on common key or column right like performing a sql style joint so this is the differences between the concat and join i hope you have got an understanding try this out all the links and the data frames that i've used in this just try them out uh, on your Jupyter notebook and you will be able to clearly see the difference between concat and 
join. So only thing the key point to remember is concat stacks merge combines with key. Okay, if you remember these two points, I think it will be easy for you to recall. So thank you guys for watching. We are going to meet once again in the next content. Till then, take care.